The Seattle Police Department tells me we will get more answers in the coming days. I also spoke with family and friends of Leticia's, and they tell me the last time they saw and heard from her was at Friday's Mariners game. I just want her back. That's that's it. It's been almost a week since Ricardo Martinez heard from his sister, Leticia Martinez. She said she was at the game, and that was the last time I heard from her. She was in seats behind home plate watching the Mariners play against the Guardians with a man Ricardo hadn't met. She met him like two weeks before, and she'd struck up a conversation with this guy, and they exchanged numbers. He didn't have money for lunch and she bought him a hot dog at Costco. The Seattle Police Department posted this picture of Leticia with a man at the Mariners game. It's believed to be the last time Leticia was seen, though police would not confirm whether this man is the suspect in custody. Police said it had probable cause to arrest a 46 year old man. For the investigation of murder, uh, kidnapping, uh, theft and assault. She's a very um, giving person and she's a great sister and a great mother and um, you know we just want to get her back. On Tuesday Ricardo found her car. They found it in the impound place and then I wanted the location. They told him it was located on North Beacon Hill. SPD says it has recovered a vehicle. It was very uh, giving and you know, full life. Her family and friends want her home. It could be one of her faults that she's too kind. A woman who has spent her life dedicated to giving and serving. My main goal right now is just to find my sister. She's out there and According to the Mariners VP of Communications, it is aware of Leticia's disappearance and is working with law enforcement. SPD is asking for anyone who might know something to call their violent crime tip line. Live here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.